So Blake, do you take this woman Hannah to be your wife? And do you promise that you will love, honor, and cherish her from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, sickness and in health, until God by death shall separate you? I do. And Hannah, do you take this man Blake to be your husband? And do you promise that you will love, honor, and cherish him from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? I do. Take care of her. Yes. So Hannah, <laughs> you're my biggest supporter and my best friend. Everyone who knows you feels your warmth and your genuine kind spirit. Hannah walks into a room and her smile lights up the whole room. She can't go anywhere and bond with people that doesn't make the whole group better. Now Blake, on to you. You are the perfect mix of goofy and serious in Hannah's life. You are consistent, reliable, and just all the things I know Hannah has been praying for in a husband. At the beginning of me and Blake's friendship, I felt I was doing my best to encourage him in his faith. But this past year, he has truly encouraged me in mine, and his faith has made me want to love Jesus more. You're a man of principle. You're a leader. There's no greater calling than becoming the spiritual leader in your home. Oh my gosh, that was so sweet. Blake asked Hannah to a Taylor Swift concert and she said no, because I wasn't invited. So, I mean, let that just sink in. That's just the kind of sister she's always been to me. She's always had my back. One of those summer days, Blake told me a girl he knew in high school was in town, but he hadn't talked to her in like three years. The first couple questions I probably asked were, well, is she hot? And is she cool? And I'm sure Blake said, very hot, very cool. I was texting Hannah's friend Caroline and asked her if we could come say hi to them. So we went to talk to them outside Jordan's house for like two hours. After we left, Caroline texted me and said, did you see what I saw? I was like, yeah, I think they love each other. We're like a yeah, turn we're, away. Yeah, we're just down the street, like parks. Let us know when they come. Did you say 45 minutes? Yeah, she said right here, 45 minutes. <laughs> she said she'll come back in just a second. Hannah, I give you this ring. Hannah, I give you this ring. As a symbol and daily reminder. As a symbol and daily reminder. Of my unconditional love for you. Of my <laughs> unconditional love for you. Hannah, you have a ring? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, I give you this ring. Blake, I give you this ring. As a symbol and daily reminder. As a symbol and daily reminder. Of my unconditional love for you. Of my unconditional love for you.
I love the way you two love each other. It's so obvious, but I love the way you love Jesus. That's been evident. So continue to seek Him, praying for wisdom and guidance every day. You cannot do this on your own. Literally, get up in the morning and just do it every day. God, help me. Help me love this woman. Help me love this man. The moment I realized Blake was the real deal was he came and visited New York um, right when they first started dating. And I came downstairs one morning and he had his like Bible, all his organized highlighters <laughs> and just like ready to get after it in the word. <laughs> and I was like, wow, he's not the eighth grade guy with the Justin Bieber haircut anymore. <laughs> Suffice it to say how proud we are, how deeply you are loved, and how important you are to our family. And above all, I thank you for being my daughter. We all heard it. You guys both said I do. So it is my honor and privilege to pronounce you man and wife. Blake, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Blake Sturmer. Thank you.